Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and today we are going to do another layout for Story Kit Crush. Um, and I happen to have a little funny photo and story from this past Sunday when we got together to celebrate my birthday with the boys. Um, we like to try to take some pictures whenever we're all together. And um, my husband was kind of being silly in a few of them. So I have just this little story to tell. So I'm sticking with the laugh story kit this week. I think this will be my third week doing the laugh story kit. Um, so I've got all my parts and pieces here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward and get this one put together. Let's do it. Okay, I am gonna start off by taking both of these pieces for my background. That circle paper came from the Allie Edwards quarterly scrapbooking kit. I believe it was the second one that was circles. Um, and I chose it because I needed to bring in some of those darker colors in that journaling card, as well as the clothing that my boys are wearing. Everything else I had picked from the Laugh Story kit, um, you see it's kind of got that green or a mint and a, like a lighter blue shade. And so I needed to bring in some of those colors. And when I went looking for paper, I found this one and I thought it would work perfectly. So I gutted out a piece that's about mm, maybe 10 by 10 and I just save it for later. I uh, cut down this piece of basil cardstock to 11 and a half by 11 and a half so that you just get that little sliver of a border just to give it enough to pop. And I took it away and stitched around the edges. It's a kind of an orangey red shade and it ties in really well with um, some of those colors in my picture and in the paper and embellishments. So I don't have a large format printer. I just print these out at, this one is about six by 11. Um, by the time I leave the border, it's maybe closer to six and a half. Um, but um, that's what I do to try to make up for not having a large format printer. Now I'm going to use red line tape on this laugh wood veneer piece. And I load it up, I fill it full and all the little nooks and crannies I can get it into. And then I saved you all the pain of watching me struggle to get those backing pieces off. Um, and then I'm going to put it right on top of my picture. It fit pretty good up there, just kind of in that blank space above the tree in front of the windows. So I'm going to put that in place. And this was just the day that we got together to celebrate my birthday with our boys over this past weekend. And we were taking pictures outside and it was hot. We were delirious. It often gets loud and boisterous when we're all together um, and so this moment was so funny at the time it's probably not going to be funny when I look back at it a few years from now but at the time it was hilarious I've got my Austin is throwing his head back laughing over there Dylan's kind of got a goofy face Olin has a goofy face and my oldest Ben is barely cracking a smile which is a big deal for him so um, it was just a picture and a little story I wanted to document so I put that wood veneer, nope, sorry, chipboard piece down at the bottom that says bring on the laughter. And then that speech bubble says funny stories for the win always. And I put that up on some foam dots or foam squares. And I thought it would be perfect since Austin's got his head tilted back laughing. And then I put in this quote card on there. It is from E.E. E. Cummings. And I used to have this as a poster, not this exact same uh, printout, but uh, a poster that said this in my classroom because laughter is very important. And there's my journaling that just um, kind of goes over what I just explained to you about what was going on on the day. And that finishes it up. Okay, that is where we are calling this one done. Um, I really like how it turned out. I love having the border with these darker colors to tie in with this card and the darker colors in my boys' clothing. Um, so I, I really like it. And I like having the stitching, again, just to kind of pop a, a little bit more of that color that's in some of the other places on my layout. So if you enjoyed this video today, I would love a thumbs up down below and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So I think this will be the only Story Kit Crush layout I do for this week, um, but I do still intend to try to do at least one every week because I have so much stuff in my stash that needs to be used and um, I enjoy playing along with this community project. So thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate it so very much and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.